motherfucking Eagle Double G. Snoop Dogg. Have you ever felt like you are you listening? What's up you guys and welcome to another video. Uh, I hope that this mirror isn't in the way. Uh, the only problem is I've got the sun that's coming in from the side and it's really catching the side of the lens. Uh, in case you're wondering why I'm wearing the mask, it's only because I have a traffic officer right in front of me and he's obviously checking me out, but I think he's more interested in the camera that's on the dashboard. So two days ago, I uploaded our Klipkrantz camping adventure. That was the one with myself and Andre, where on the second night, we found ourselves in a huge thunderstorm. If you haven't yet seen that video, I will leave the link down below. Check it out, it's pretty awesome. Uh, but today I'm doing a solo overnighter at a spot called Refil Glass. Uh, it's pretty close to where we were before, it's again along the banks of the Breda River, uh, just south of Worcester, maybe an hour 30 from Cape Town. I've had a look at the website. It looks like a pretty awesome spot. There's plenty to do. It's obviously very family orientated and I believe it is pet friendly as well. Weather wise, it's pretty hot. Uh, temperatures out there today, it's about 30, 31 Celsius. Uh, tonight it's gonna be dropping to about 12. Wind is light, no rain. So based on that, I haven't even packed in a tent. Uh, I'm going to be doing something completely different, but we can talk about that a little bit later. But for now, I'm on the N1 northward bound uh, to the town of Worcester. And once I get safely to my destination, I'll catch up with you again. Check you later. Eres perfecta mujer, de la cabeza a los pies, tú pasas de mi nivel, tú tienes el piquete, de la forma que tú besas mami, más simétrica que un origami, de la forma que tú besas mami, más simétrica que un origami. Eres perfecta mujer, de la cabeza a los pies. So I was thinking of what to do for supper and I've decided we're going to do Budavos rolls except it's not Budavos, it's going to be pork sausages but uh, I think it's going to be alright Por ahí tos y todas esas poses que tú conoces Gracias a mi mujer ni tu amigo Pero en vivo solo contigo Disfruto el show, bebé Alright Sita, dime pa' dónde vas Que yo te caigo donde sea Eres perfecta mujer De la cabeza a los pies Tú pasas de mi nivel Tú tienes el piquete Alright, so I've just arrived at Rafir Plas. Uh, the drive here was completely incident free. Upon arrival, I did meet up with the owner and uh, I'm now in section E, so I have my choice of where I would like to set up camp. Uh, there are plenty of mosquitoes, the river is just down here to my right, so heads up if you do come through, bring with plenty of bug spray, you're going to need it. Very warm out as well, not a breath of wind, not a cloud in the sky. Uh, just behind the camera are the ablution facilities, looks quite nice. And uh, there's also what looks like a donkey that we'd have to light for hot water. But so far it's looking pretty cool. Um, the one thing though, uh, on the way here I did take an alternative route. Apparently the main road was flooded with the rivers being so high. And uh, it did take me along a gravel road for about 5 k's. But 
gravel road was actually perfectly fine it was recently graded and i actually cruised along in third and fourth gear no problem at all so uh, i think plan now is to have a walk around uh, choose a site and then settle in for the evening all right let's have a quick look around the camp uh, just off to the left is the ablution facilities with a donkey to make hot water this is section e uh, four or five sites i think available uh, all have water they do have power and bry facilities the river just down there in front of the camera now river's quite high and uh, plenty grass lots of trees lots of shade very sheltered just plenty mosquitoes e3 this is the site that i've selected nice and sheltered between the trees I've got the bry area just over here to the right. I'm going to use these two trees here to set up the top and then the car is just parked off to the left. This is also something that we don't see often at campsites, a donkey uh, to obviously warm the water for the shower. This is pretty awesome. Very rustic. Nice little outside section here to wash your dishes. Very rustic looking ablution facilities but very neatly set up as well. Although it's a private farm, they still adhere to the COVID-19 protocol regulations. Pretty awesome quote. Only when the last tree has died and the last river has been poisoned and the last fish has been caught will we realize we cannot eat money. Too true. I'll just take a closer look at where we are. Uh, this is the ablution where I'm standing at right now and E3. This is the campsite right next door. This is the river running, fishing, swimming, uh, play area up here for the kids, zip line across the river. That's uh, pretty cool. So speaking of shop times, uh, over here, 6 to 7 p.m., Saturdays 10 a.m. to 10.30 a.m., 5 p.m. to 5.30 p.m., closed on Sundays. So they do have a shop where they obviously stock the essentials. Right, so that's camp set up. Uh, as you can see, no tent at all. Uh, this could be an absolute failure with all these mozzies, but let's see what happens. Um, the top is literally just for dew and for comfort, uh, but I do have a nice thick ground sheet down. I've got the stretcher. Uh, I've got a very light sleeping bag. This is a positive 15 rating. I have the inner as well, just as a backup in case. And then uh, a light uh, summer insulating pad that I'll put on the stretcher as well. But that's it, uh, that is camp set up. I'm not gonna do the bed now. I'll do that just before I go to sleep. It's always important to put everything away because you don't want to lose anything around camp. That includes bags and covers. Keep it all in one spot, you know exactly where it is. All right, just some tech talk. Um, the camera that I'm currently filming on is the G7X Mark II. Uh, this is the one that I usually use. This is my SL2 um, and then of course my Hero 7 Black. I do like using the Hero 7 uh, specifically because I can record in 2.7K, which means if I zoom in, I lose no quality at all. Uh, the problem with the SL2 and the G7X, they both only film in 1080p. Uh, the problem, however, with the GoPro are the onboard microphones. Uh, really sucks, and I really picked it up in my last video. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to switch out uh, the audio setup for the GoPro. I'm going to show you how I do that. Uh, and that's specifically because at night I use the GoPro. It just works better in lower light. Man, these mosquitoes are just ridiculous. I don't know if you can see them buzzing all around me. All right, so let me show you how I install my external mic onto the GoPro. Um, this is the Rode Video Mini or Micro. And the problem is it does come with a huge dead cat but 
when it's installed on the GoPro it sort of hangs in front and then obscures the lens. So here I've just customized it by cutting off uh, a piece of a older directional microphone that I have and it seems to fit over quite nicely and it looks nice and neat and tidy. Anyway, the GoPro, uh, it does come with this casing. Uh, this I actually bought off Amazon. Uh, you would need to detach the little side door in order to access the input jack. Uh, this is also the official GoPro uh, audio adapter, which then just inserts into the compartment at the bottom. Uh, just a slight twist and you can then insert the cable like so. And then on top you have a cold shoe mount for your external audio and then just clip it in the side jack. Boom, just like that. Uh, what I do like to do, you'll notice it's very flimsy and that can sometimes pick up noise as well. Uh, this little cable actually fits into this little grommet perfectly, just clips in and uh, it's a lot more stable and a lot less noise interference. Uh, and then this is what I'm going to use tonight. Uh, at least I'll have much better audio and uh, because I'm filming in 2.7K I can also zoom in uh, a lot closer to my subject without losing any image information. But check these mosquitoes. Yeah, these buggers are everywhere. I've already gone through half the bottle and it doesn't seem to be working. I think I'm going to have a very long night. I'm going to light the fire soon and hopefully that smoke will get these mosquitoes under control. But uh, in the meantime, I have put on some socks as well, just to save my ankles. Uh, let's take a look at what's for dinner tonight. I always have a backup plan just in case. So two minute noodles and soup. Um, but weather's great, so I'm going to have a fire anyway. And for dinner tonight, I'm going to do hot dogs. So I've got two fresh buns. I've got some salted butter. I've got uh, some pork sausage. I couldn't find red peppers, so I've got green peppers and garlic. Uh, as always, my chili flakes, and then again, some of that awesome chip sauce. Uh, that's the plan for tonight. Let's see how it goes. Sun's pretty low now. Uh, beautiful evening. I've got the fire lit. Um, it's gotten just a little bit cooler and uh, it seems that the mosquitoes have died down slightly. They're not half as bad as they were earlier but um, super peaceful. Very peaceful. I can just see out in the distance there's sort of the last of the sun up in the mountains. Uh, birds are chirping away. I had a walk around earlier and um, I think tomorrow morning before breakfast I'll have a walk around with the camera and show you what this place looks like. Nice toasty garlics, mm -hmm. green peppers, the uh, chips.
chip and salad sauce and pork sausage nice yum this is the easiest way to clean the pan once you're done cooking just stick it back on the heat put in some water once the water gets hot everything loosens up um, once that's done I'll just pour out the water um, I'll then wash out my pan with a little bit of soap and fresh water I'll be sure to rinse it properly as well and then once the pan is nice and clean I'll then put it back on the heat just to completely dry out I'm not going to season it this time uh, I usually do the seasoning after every maybe third or fourth time uh, in my previous video with Andre I did the seasoning uh, to season the pan you can use canola oil or essentially any oil that has a high smoking point all right so you can use a little bit of soap to clean your pan there's nothing wrong with that uh, I do use a little scrubby this is a very soft scrubby so it's non-abrasive uh, remember now on the fire we got most of the gunk out anyway um, but it's also nice just to clean with a little bit of soap this is normal sunlight liquid the only thing to remember though once you've completely cleaned your pan uh, is to rinse it properly get all of that soap out Okay, so the pan is done. That will go back on the fire now, just to completely dry it out. And then of course I'll just let it cool down before I pack it away. Those of you who are interested, uh, who are into gear, this is the 25 centimeter skillet from a company called Austrail. And um, this one I picked up from Camp and Climb in Pardon Island. So you can buy them pretty much anywhere really. Uh, what I like about this, um, it's not only robust, but I just really dig the wooden handle. All right, fire's pumping nicely. I'm just going to put our pan back on the heat to get nice and dry. All right, so there we go. Dinner is done, and I have to say it was rather nice, albeit green peppers, not red. Uh, but everything is cleaned up and packed away. I have relit the fire. The smoke seems to help with the mosquitoes. In fact, I may just lay a smoldering log on the ground next to me and try and get some smoke up into the shelter. Uh, I don't think it's going to be a great night's sleep. It's probably going to be a bit of a rough night, but you know, that's camping. And uh, if you're going to be in the outdoors, these are the things that you have to deal with. Uh, if you can't handle it, it's better stay at home. But we're still camping, we're still having fun, and um, I'm going to call it a night soon. So I will catch up with you again in the morning. Cheers guys, night. Morning guys, so it was actually a very peaceful night. Um, very quickly the mosquitoes died down, they left me alone. Uh, it did get quite cold at one stage, but uh, I do have the sleeping bag inner, so I was perfectly fine, I actually slept quite well, nice and snug. Um, no wind at all, beautiful morning, perfect sunrise coming up there behind the camera. Birds are out, there's quite a few down there by the braai. Um, very comfortable and uh, I quite like this little setup. Uh, I think what I will do, especially now with the summer months coming, I'll probably lose the stretcher and just get a mosquito net <coughs> and then just sleep on the ground. But uh, I'm so comfortable I actually don't want to get out of bed. But I do need to grab myself a cup of coffee and get the day started. <clears throat> it's a pretty cool spot this, eh? Um, yesterday's little walkabout, I saw canoes, I saw what looks like a big uh, communal entertainment area. It's like a raised platform with 
I think it's a dance floor or something, I'm not sure. Um, sort of a whole play area for the kids. Um, there's a flying fox, like a foofy slide into the river. Uh, there's a swimming hole. Um, there's fishing here as well. Uh, there's a two point something kilometer hiking trail. I can't remember what else, but I mean, this is just section E where I'm at. Um, it stretches quite a ways down. And um, I like the idea that it's sort of partitioned in areas, but each area has its own ablution. And um, I have to say, I haven't seen ablution facilities like this before. Um, I, I really like this sort of rustic feel. Uh, even the, the toilets or the shower stalls, um, there's a gap about this high underneath and then you can look up over the top so it's very open and I like that um, I like that sort of rough vibe you know um, even the fact that there's a donkey I mean there's no geezer there's no solar power nothing it's just a donkey that you have to light for hot water um, I think that's pretty cool but plenty of trees lots of grass lots of shade um, it's a nice place this, really nice place this. It's also pretty cool that when you get here you drive in on a farm road. <clears throat> It's that real farm type vibe. I'm not sure about caravans. Um, the sites are big enough for caravans. Um, I don't caravan, so it's not something that I would be thinking about. Uh, but perhaps, perhaps you guys have been here caravanning. Let me know in the comments uh, if you've been here with a caravan and if it's uh, easily accessible. So, so super peaceful. <clears throat> this is the life. Mosquitoes are out again in full force. Uh, so I'm gonna grab a breakfast. I'm just gonna go film a little bit down at the water's edge and then I think I'm going to pack up and head home. But uh, this is what's for breakfast today. We're doing banana flavored oats. <clears throat> breakfast of champions. It always reminds me of my boarding school days. Although we didn't have flavored oats in those days. The matron would make this huge pot of oats in the kitchen, bring it out and serve everybody. I was a junior then. So the seniors would always take all the, the fresh milk and us youngsters were left with the, uh, that horrid powdered milk. Good times, good times. <clears throat> Definitely banana flavor, 
smells awesome. Just one last look at camp. This was a pretty awesome setup. I love the simplicity and um, just the openness, the, the open feeling. Uh, but like I said, I will um, get myself one of those mosquito nets and then um, lose the stretcher. The stretcher is just uh, added bulk. Banana flavor, baby. Not bad. Hmm. <coughs> Not bad at all. Son por ahí todos y todas esas poses que tú conoces Gracias a mi mujer y tu amigo Pero en vivo solo contigo Disfruto el show, bebé Alright, así está, dime pa' dónde vas Que yo te caí Alright, so there we go, all packed up and ready to head home Yet another fun-filled solo overnighter on the stretcher under the top Great fun um, Awesome place this, I will leave their details down below Click on the link, check them out uh, but from here, I believe that the main road has reopened, so I'll be taking a different route home. Uh, Time-wise, it should be about 1 hour 30, 1 hour 40, and then once I get home, I can start editing this video. But as always, thanks for watching. Uh, please support me by smashing that like button, and also don't forget to subscribe, and I will catch you again in the next video. Cheers. <laughs> Más simétrica que un origami